Many of us have friends, and a part of friendship sometimes is competition. We play dominoes, we play cards. Some of us brothers play Madden. Some of us want to go to the club to see how many of us can get the most phone numbers. We bet on our favorite NFL teams, but sometimes it can get physical. We can slap box, wrestle. And for some of us, which I think is primarily most of us, we like playing basketball. And depending on how good you are, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But usually after the game, you talk trash and you go back home. You could never imagine shooting your friend over a basketball game or a Madden game. Now, obviously things can get heated in a conversation and jokes can be made and maybe tussles and pushing and shoving. But your friend that you've spent time with, your parents know each other, I, I can't see that. But you know, when Pookies and Ray Rays are involved, anything is possible. Guys, let's meet Asia Womack, 21 year old young lady, former basketball star, hanging out in South Dallas. She was hanging out with her friend, 31 year old Cameron Hogg. Now, I don't know, they had a discussion on who could do what, but it led to a competition of playing basketball one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, I guess Womack is pretty good because she won. But something must have happened in the game, some sort of argument, some sort of tussling and or, or going back and forth because what happened was that Cameron Hogg left the place, came back, took his kids there home. Gunshots, Dima! <laughs> yes, deleted his own best friend right there on the sidewalk. Now, let me tell you this because this is very senseless. I could maybe understand it a little better if this was somebody that you didn't know. But here's a young lady that's fed you. Here's a young woman that's taking you into her house when you didn't have anything. And this is how you repay her. Guys, what am I talking about today? I'm talking about that criminality that destroys all parts of the black community where it's senseless. People don't even think they're reactionary to it. Now, I, I just have a question for those of you um, who love the black community anywhere, Dallas, Houston, you know, Chicago. What if your kids are out there and they happen to be playing basketball or, you know, playing hopscotch or whatever, and they happen to see this? What is their interaction going to be like with other black people? What is their interaction going to be like with the black community? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. When these things occur, it teaches our people that we are not safe around each other and that, you know, like I said, we all get stereotyped as the black community when something senseless like this happen. And I want to talk to people today about something that we can try to do as a community. Go away. Go away from where? People like this. Now, I do want to be a little controversial because, um, you know, Asia Womack is gone, but I want people to understand something about the Pookie and Ray Ray crisis. If this person has nothing going on for them, nothing going on with them, and they have proclivities in the past of crime or violence, my question to you is why hang around them? Now, I don't know what the situation was with her, but let me tell you something. Anything that a criminal can do to somebody else, they'll do it to you. My mama used to always tell me, if you'll lie, you'll steal. All right? Now, I want to talk about a conversation I had with a young woman before. She's telling me that she was 22 years old and, you know, her baby daddy left her. All right? And she doesn't have money for food or money for stuff like that. And, 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 and this is a long time ago, right? And she asked her, well, what does a dad do? She told me that the guy that she was dealing with um, deals in drugs and guns. So the question I ask is, what are you doing dealing in guns and drugs? Dealing with a guy that does that. What are you doing? She was silent. Now, I don't know about, you know, Miss Womack, but I'm telling you, let us be the example. If you have people who are dealing in that side of life, don't think because you're their friend that it won't happen to you. It's just like a woman. You know, if you have a guy that is cheating all the time, 
you have a guy that's doing everything you have a you know and you end up with him and you think that oh it's not gonna happen to me because you know I'm, I'm so much better than the rest of them don't ever believe that okay if you're hanging out with people who are trashy it doesn't matter that you help them it doesn't matter that you feed them it doesn't matter that you help your kids right that's something that we got to understand about people we feel as people who want to help people out all oh, they having a hard time but that's still my partner you know what i mean he's going to appreciate me people don't appreciate nothing some people have already seen too much in their life so you try to help them you give them money and at, at the first glance of something happening here they are trying to take your head off they didn't forgot everything you didn't did for them they didn't forgot everything you've helped them do everything you've helped them accomplish and guess what you're gonna be the one looking hurt or looking stupid and that's why i'm trying to tell you guys you need to really start hanging out with like-minded individuals if you are not there yet start trying to be around people you want to be like people who have good morality people who have good integrity good people people who want to help you out as you're helping them out all right not people who can't control their emotions a lot of us got to get away from our friends i mean i had a homeboy um like we would go to the club man and he would just be looking for a reason to fight it, it, it don't matter what happened man like you know like somebody step on your shoes and he here he is he just he's there for the fight i i, 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 I love him and stuff like that but i, I can't go on that one i can't go out with him even 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 in our, in our 40s he still want to get it popping and if you have friends like that you know it, it you know you think that 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 emotional switch if something happens with you they not gonna do it with you let me tell you something they're more likely to do it with you because they know you. Do you know that the majority of people who get deleted in the world are by people who they already knew? Random acts of violence, you know, rarely happen. When somebody deletes you, somebody that knows you, all right? Somebody that's talked to you before. Somebody who knows your mama, know where your mama stay. And then if they cannot get caught, some will be even as, as dusty enough to come to your damn funeral. So my heart goes out to the young lady, rest in peace to her. But let us be an example, guys. Let us be an example. You can't help everybody. People typically don't remember the good things you do for them, especially people who are trashy people. Trashy people do not remember what you do well for them. And you guys know that. Look in your own personal life. Look in your own personal life and, and look at how many people that you helped and they came back and bit you in the ass. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shadu Jackson. Back at it again. I'm out. <laughs>